Alright, what's going on guys? It's Jeb. And this is an update video that I wanted to make you guys. Yesterday, something... Something pretty fucking magical happened. I quit my job. Yes, I quit my job. Yes, YouTube basically is now my job. And this isn't even a job to me. I don't even feel like I'm working whenever I do this. I'm just here to entertain you guys. And this is truly just... A dream come true. I don't want to make this video a thank you video though. I'm going to save that for like around 150k subscribers for like a Q&A and stuff like that. So I wanted to explain to you guys really quick exactly what happened when I came in yesterday because I said in a previous video, the rant about my boss, that I was going to go in there and tell my boss to go fuck himself and all this other stuff. And I mean, a Upon further thought, I realized that probably wasn't a good idea as far as uh, legal actions and just as far as my future goes. And what I mean by legal actions is I'm not allowed to record inside of that building, even with a hidden camera and stuff like that. I'm not allowed to go inside of the building and record, especially me going inside recording me telling the CEO to go fuck himself. Why am I not allowed to record inside of the company? This company is really low key. They're competing with other companies out there that are building the same things as them and everything is very low key all of the engineering everything like that how everything is constructed everything is super top fucking secret so they don't allow people to record and take photos inside of the building because then other companies can steal the stuff from them they can steal the design they can steal the thoughts and everything like that behind all of the products so if i were to walk in there recording everything around me telling the boss to go fuck himself if i get any logos inside of the place if i see any of the designs if i see any of the racks anywhere or any of the cages or anything like that legally that is a form of sabotage or conspiracy Especially with my channel and the amazing support that I get along with the fact that it could possibly go viral if I were to do it correctly It's going to get thousands among thousands of views on the internet And there is no fucking way that this will just be able to slip past them and I'm not looking to get fined or arrested So then people were just telling me to record the audio for the thing just walking in with my cell phone in my pocket Just recording and then just post I guess the audio but one that wouldn't be very fun to watch and two Even if I told the CEO to go fuck himself and then when I go to try to get a job years down the road and they try to reference back to my job they're gonna say uh, he told our ceo to go fuck himself so that does not look good for me so i have to apologize for not knocking the ceo out or shitting on his desk or fucking his daughter or something terrible like that although i would very much love to knock him the fuck out it just would not be a smart move for me so i just clocked in like i normally would and i just walked in and talked to my supervisor and i was just like you know i'm gonna have to talk to your boss or your supervisor and when i came up to him he was all like all smiles i guess because he was all around his fucking dicklet douchebag fucking asshole friends that just ride his meat stick he was like hey man what's up and when i spoke to him and i told him that i needed to speak to his supervisor his face went from to now he was probably thinking that I was going to try to talk to his supervisor to tell him about all the situations and all the times that he's threatened me or just talked shit to me or just completely treated all the people under him like complete dog shit. But no, that wasn't the case. I just wanted to get the fuck out of there. So he tells me, yeah, I'll, I'll get a hold of him. So hours pass and I'm just painfully waiting just to speak to his supervisor. It got to a little after lunch break, which is like 1240. And I start work at like 630. Finally, he shows up and I let him know. I was like, hey, listen, I'm giving you my two weeks notice. I'm out of here. I found a way of self-employment and uh i just I, I found something better for me so i was just letting you know and he didn't even really seem to give a fuck which was it kind of upset me because i thought that guy was pretty cool he really just didn't give a shit about it he was just like all right and he just walked away so i was like wow that that went a lot easier than i thought i would so he walks off i guess to go and tell the other supervisors around him that you know this guy is gonna quit and blah 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 blah, blah. so i would say not even 10 minutes later just a group of all these supervisors come over to me and just gather around me and tell me to go into the office like i was some sort of fucking criminal they brought me into the office and they asked me why i was quitting and i told them that i didn't need to tell them why the fuck i was quitting and after a couple of them laughed at me after i just responded like that hostily i said it kind of spite them because these the type of people that I see walking around all the time talking about, oh, I hate this fucking company. I hate working for somebody my entire life, blah, 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 blah. So I thought it would actually piss them off a little bit for a young kid like me to go and say, yeah, I found a way of self-employment. I make my own money and I don't need this place anymore. I found something better. I found something I enjoy. And then they had the nerve to ask me what I did. I don't even know why they were digging that far into it. I don't understand. Like it really wasn't going to change my mind. Literally, they could have given me a $5 raise and I still 
would not have stayed there. All of this is more about my happiness more than money. Now, given I didn't make that much money there and I don't make a lot of money here on YouTube either, but I enjoy this more. This is my dream. This is what I wanted to do. I don't give a fuck about being rich. So as I was grabbing my toolbox, everybody's like, a couple of the people were like whispering around like, oh man, that guy's quitting. Look at him. <sighs> <sighs> like it's a fucking sin. These people are so sad. They literally fucking live there. There are people that have worked there for 20 fucking years and are still in the same position that they were 20 years ago. They're still fucking miserable and I'm not going to be that guy. Don't look at me like I'm making a mistake or like I'm out of line. I made the right choice. Any decision that you make in life yourself can never be the wrong choice. As long as you always approve of it, it is never the wrong choice. As long as you make all of your own decisions, you can never be wrong. Obviously, there are good and bad decisions, but you, in your own mind, can never be wrong. And that's what matters most, is what you think of yourself. And honestly, this place made me think less of myself. Would you rather be in a relationship with somebody that literally cherishes you and thinks you're the greatest thing ever, or be in a relationship where somebody just completely disregards you and treats you like a piece of shit? Obviously, you would want to be treated awesomely. So that's exactly what I did. You guys treat me amazingly. They treat me like shit. Fuck them. And I love you guys. So I'm walking out and a couple people were like, hey man, I'll see you. Good luck, man. They were shaking my hand and everything like that. And my supervisor, I guess, I don't know if it's part of his job or whatever, but he goes to try to shake my hand. And if you saw my video from yesterday, my fighting my supervisor, fuck that guy. Fuck him. So when he put that stupid ass grin on his face and puts his hand out, like, I just looked at him like, I just shook my head at him and walked away. Went outside, threw my toolbox in the back of my car and drove the fuck home and came here and I was just like, I did it. We did it. We did it. You guys allowed me to do that. I cannot be thankful enough for you basically saving my goddamn sanity. You guys are the reason that I'm able to do all of this. Without all of your support, I would just be stuck there probably for 20 years like all these other people. And now you opened up a window of opportunity where I'm able to just make video after video after video and live stream and all sorts of shit. There's so much more time and more things that I can do now that my schedule has completely opened up. I could dedicate all of this time to making videos and content for you guys now instead of trying to produce some shitty fucking cage for a company that doesn't give a shit about what I do or how I live when I get home. So I didn't even get to see my CEO or anything like that. Probably off on his fucking yacht somewhere while all these other people work for fucking pocket change. So what does this mean exactly for my YouTube channel? This number one allows me not to be completely goddamn exhausted whenever I make my YouTube videos so I'd be able to make at least higher quality content for you guys. Two, I'll be able to live stream a shit ton more. And three, I can also have more series. More variation because I just have more time with myself. The thing I'm looking forward to most is live streaming though. I'm telling you guys the live streaming is just the most awesome fucking thing. I'm really looking forward to the live streaming though. I really am. Live streaming, the first time I live streamed, I got over a thousand viewers and that was just, that was so fucking fun when I did. I mean, it was exhausting, but it was so fun. So I basically can't wait to spend more time with you guys now that something like that isn't taking away from my time, taking away from us. We're almost at 150,000 subscribers and I believe I'll have a QA and a for that. So at the end of it, I definitely will have a really, really heartfelt message for you all. Just really thanking you for just everything that you've done for me. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for allowing my dream to come true. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been Jev. See you in tomorrow's video. Later.